Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. They had a magnitude 4.0 earthquake there in Oklahoma, um, maybe about a half an hour ago. It's currently 526 p.m. Central Daylight Time. USGS has changed the magnitude and the location of this earthquake. Here's the location. I saved it originally from EMSC and posted it here. They said the depth was 5 kilometers, which is about 3 miles. The yellow marker is the location that USGS originally posted. Now they're saying it happened down here. On Volcano Discovery, they have it as a 4.0, 5 kilometers in depth. And then uh, a couple of the felt reports says that um, it came from Bremen. And that's the same area that USGS originally had posted. A loud explosion sounded like a vehicle crashed into the house. Another one from Blackwell, light shaking, Blackwell, Oklahoma. It was a quick shake, kind of felt as if lightning bolt was near, and thunder uh, shook the house. EMSE, here it is, a 4.0. And the report they had then was felt in Arkansas City. Now, yesterday I had reported that there was a magnitude 4.5. USGS said it was a 4.2 uh, near Perry, Oklahoma. And they downgraded that one also. And they had a moment tensor ball on that one. I don't know if you can zoom in and see it or not right there. I can't make it bigger. I'm sorry. On the magnitude page, we got 4.2. Um, let's see, there was more here. 4.0, another 4.0, and you'll know that farther the monitor is from where the earthquake occurred, the smaller it would register. 4.2, uh, 4.0, and that's all they have. Oklahoma Education has a web page that shows all the recent earthquakes and these are definitely uh, being downgraded. I mean, you see the size of that one. That's a 1.9. Let me zoom into these and I'll show you. There's also here a 1.2. I have to bring this down so I can close it. Um, a 2.1. Over here, a 2.1, and um, it'll show you the areas kind of um, where the swarms have been happening. And people that live there will remember that it used to be they hardly ever had earthquakes before the oil and gas industry moved in. Here it says back in 2013, the Oklahoma Geological Survey observed on average about two magnitude three earthquakes each week on average. Uh, this rate continued to increase during 2014. And nowadays, there's a lot more then. In 2014, it jumped to two and a half uh, magnitude three earthquakes each day. It goes how the um, seismicity is not from the fracking, but the injection disposal of water associated with oil and gas production. As the oil and gas is extracted, produced, so is the water. This water is then separated from the oil and gas and re-injected into disposal wells, often at a greater depth, which it was then from what it was produced. Now this paper is from 2015. At that time, it says the seismicity rate is now about 600 times greater than the background seismicity rate and is very unlikely the result of a natural process. 600 times greater earthquakes have increased 600 times more um, than what they used to have and what they consider natural earthquakes. They know these earthquakes are not natural. The majority of earthquakes in central and north central Oklahoma occur as earthquake swarms and not in the typical foreshock, main shock, aftershock sequence that are characterized of naturally occurring earthquake sequence throughout the world. 
here's the location of yesterday's magnitude 4.2 earthquake. They have 29 earthquakes listed here in the last week. And let me bring this down. There's the 4.2. It was 7.8 kilometers in depth. And there's been 13 earthquakes since that magnitude 4.2. In the past week, Oklahoma has had 136 earthquakes. The most recent here being um, that 4.0 that they downgraded to a 3.7. Um, there was also a 2.9 right there and a 1.5 uh, Brahman, Oklahoma, close to the same area. So we got a 2.1. That occurred on the 16th. We have a 1.1, um, which was, I believe that's Friday, the 19th. A 1.5, that was today. And then this 4.0 that they downgraded to a 3.7. Now, the 1.5 probably was a naturally occurring earthquake. Um, it was deep, 29.8 kilometers in depth. So that would be a little bit more than 18 miles in depth. Um, seeing how now, it was about an hour ago that this earthquake occurred, uh, reports are still coming in. We have Broken Arrow. One right there. Um, Tulsa, one there. Bixby, one response there. Hutchinson, up there by Hutchinson. Let me get that to light up. It's actually Newton, one there. They have no moment tensor ball. Wichita, that would be Kansas. Another one from Wichita, Kansas. Another one from Wichita, Kansas. Another one from Derby. Um, Arkansas City. Three, three responses from Arkansas City. Two responses there. So it looks like uh, the pressure, the tension, was applied going northeast. Let's see what we got here. Three responses in Blackwell. Three responses in um, Ponca. Ponca. And... Um, Tenkaiwa. Sorry for pronouncing these wrong. There's only one. Um, the responses is now up to 27 reports. And EMSE has downgraded it to a 3.6. Like I said, when USGS downgrades them, EMSE often follows the same path. They're supposed to, when they have these moderate earthquakes, to shut down um the disposal wells but the damage has already been done and the earthquakes will continue for a long 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 time um and they'll keep downgrading these earthquakes as long as people don't report them you know because they can get away with it so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing thank you for your support thank you for watching please stay safe and i'll talk to you later God bless you. Bye.